Hello, I'm Captain Phoenix. Welcome to my corner. In this little video, I'm going to present uh, some of the records that I have re received uh, just uh, lately within the, the last uh, few days. Uh, some of them are brand new and some of them are from a little earlier this year, but all of them are from the spring or the summer uh, 2023. They have been released here or re-released here. So uh, I'm going to tell you about the music. I'm going to tell you about the technical quality and show you what's uh, in these, uh, these ones here. And uh, I hope uh, that you will uh, hang on. Thanks. The first uh, album in this little stack is this one, uh, The Awakening, uh, Matt Jamal uh, Trio. Um, this, uh, this one was uh, released, this version was released uh, uh, in uh, April uh, this year, 2023. And it was just uh, the same month that we lost uh, Ahmad Jamal, uh, who went away there. Um, so uh, that kind of uh, put me in the direction of discovering more of his music. I have uh, got a few of his albums, but uh, this one is a, a recording from 1970 uh, with his trio, um, which uh, constitutes of, um, of um, Frank uh, Gant uh, on drums and uh, Jamil Nasser on bass. They have played together for almost 10 years at, at this time, and, and you can hear that. I must admit, I do not know these uh, two gentlemen, uh, except from uh, playing with uh, Ahmad Jamal. So, but they do it very good. They are, their interplay is, is really great, and uh, Ahmad, Ahmad Jamal on, on the piano is, is, I'll call it playful. He, he, he's not the, the, the pianist that you get uh, <laughs> tired of very, very uh, fast. You can come back to this, uh, this uh, rec record and, uh, and um, discover some new things uh, in it. So I think this is a, this is a great one. It's from the, the Verb by Request uh, series um, this year, as I said. And um, the sound quality is, is great on this one. It's, it's not highly audiophile, but it's, it's uh, great. Uh, the, 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 the gatefold cover here is uh, sturdy. You can see the tracking list. There are some of uh, Amadja Mal's uh, own compositions and some standards. Uh, the Hancock tune, Dolphin Dance, and Wave by uh, uh, um, Antonio Carlos Joaquim. So he plays his own stuff and uh, other uh, great musician stuff. And this is a great re record. I highly recommend it. And the same goes for the next one. This one is uh, Kenny Barron, uh, Kenny Barron Trio, uh, with uh, Ray Drummond and uh, Ben uh, Riley. Also two, uh, two gentlemen that I do not know of, but I know uh, Kenny Barron and uh, I've seen him uh, play live. He, he's, uh, I think he's just turned 80 uh, this year and he's still touring, still, uh, still uh, traveling around. I heard him here in Copenhagen where I live a couple of years, well, maybe three years ago. Um, so he's still active and has been that for many, many, many years. Um, and this, this is a 1991 uh, recording uh, recorded at uh, Rudy van Gelder Studios um, with uh, Rudy van Gelder as an engineer. Um, it must be a digital recording. It's from 91, so I guess everything was digitalized uh, then. But uh, this is the first time uh, it's out on, on vinyl and it sounds, uh, sounds good, it sounds great. Um, I am, um, I'm, um, yeah, the, the mastering, sorry, the mastering is done by Bernie, Bernie Grundman, so that, that's a quality uh, sign. I don't know who pressed it, but it's, it sounds good. The visual quality uh, of this one, this, uh, this uh, jacket is not, as you can see, not very, very good. It's the same um, image which is on the CD version. So I think they've just tried to scale that up without finding the original negatives or something. So uh, visually, uh, it could have been a little better, but uh, it's, a, it's a 2LP. Uh, with uh, a good uh, many good tracks on it, some uh, three of uh, of Kenny Barron's own compositions and some standards. Uh, Have you met Miss uh, Jones? And uh, you go to my head. Um, and the title uh, here uh, comes from from two of the tunes: the first one and the last one. The first one here, uh, Lemuria, uh, is a little bit, little bit upbeat, and that's maybe where the the music doesn't work so good as it does in, in the, the slower tunes. Uh, and uh, luckily, most of the tunes are in, the, in a slower tempo. And the interplay is great, especially uh, the um, when um, when uh, the, the drummer uh, uses uh, the, the brushes, uh, Ben Riley, when he uses the brushes, that creates a really a nice uh, atmosphere. Uh, so this is 
most of it is is really relaxing uh, music, not so lively as uh, some of uh, Matt Jamal's, but uh, nice, nice uh, music. Um, and like the cardboard is okay, but yeah, the, the visual quality they could have done a little better, I think. The third one and the next one is my stack. However, is uh, <laughs> they have really gone all in uh, on the on the visual quality. You can see the the glare here. I think this one is Clark Terry. Uh, this is a Sam Records release. Sam Records, the French uh, record label. They released this one a couple of years ago. It's been out of print uh, for almost as long, but now it's back. Um, so uh, it's it's still available at uh, some records uh, website. I'll leave a link to that um, in the uh, in the description. Um, and uh, as you maybe know, maybe from from one of my videos about uh, the releases from Sam Records, the 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 visual quality, the the graphics, uh, the the audio quality, the pressings are. Uh, are all uh, top notch uh, when when it comes to Sam Records. The uh, the owner uh, Fred Thomas he he is deep into both the, the acoustic and the visual side of things. Um, this one is is um, I, could, I think you would say a little mainstream. Maybe not so. Uh, it's not, it doesn't provocate any, anybody. It's a little bit you know laid back, a little bit uh, maybe a little swing style. Um, Clark Terry was a trumpeter with uh, Duke Ellington's um, orchestra for many many years, and there's a there's a satin doll here as you can see uh, a Duke Ellington tune. Uh, but else there's uh, mainly um, Clark Terry's own own tunes here. Um, the the. The record uh, itself is, is, is in the same same record, uh, Polyline Inner Sleep, and as always, uh, almost always with the same records, there are an extra a photo or something visual here, and I'm not sure that this video uh, probably presents how good this image is, but it's really, really great. I, I hope you can see it. I think. Uh, Fred Thomas has found the original negatives and, and made this a little... So that's a really nice extra thing. Another great thing about um, these releases from uh, Same Records is that they are pressed at Palace in Germany. Uh, for the last couple of years, many of the Same releases have been pressed at uh, Optimal, also in Germany. They have been good, but there has also been uh, some um, quality issues and of many of them. The last of the last three I got, two of them had to be replaced, which was done without any problems. This uh, this pressing sound uh, fantastic. They're they are really good. So uh, the Palace is where they, they used to be uh, quality wise. They are right up there. I have another uh, release <clears throat> the John uh, the, the the Ron Jefferson choir uh, choir. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, well, this is not a musician that I know very much about. Um, uh, Ron Jefferson is a drummer and he uh, plays the flute as well and he plays percussion. And then uh, we have uh, the, um, um, the the ba the bassist here is is, um, is uh, um, Roy, uh, Ronald Haynes, uh, sorry, and uh, and the, the drummer is, um, is another uh, person I don't know, Bas uh, Salviano. So I do know, <laughs> do not know much about this musician. I'm sorry, but it's a very interesting uh, record. Record. Uh, the musicians uh, are American. They came to Europe in uh, like uh, 1965, or something like that. Lived in Paris, played in Paris. They went to a trip to uh, to Africa in uh, uh, Senegal in. Uh, 65 66 and when they returned they were offered a, a, a recording a, to make a record uh, this is this is the one that uh, was made there it was only released in france it totally did not sell any copies or very very few copies so now it's uh, the original version is impossible uh, to get so therefore it's really really great that we have this uh, re-release by same records there's there's only uh, there's only uh, four tunes on it uh, but there's uh, like 48 uh, minutes of music and also in a great great quality it can sometimes be a problem uh, when there's really a lot of playing time on a record but there's no no problem here so um, on on a side two uh, there's this uh, every uh, little bit helps um, as with the others uh, around Jefferson composition this is not well, it's consists of many different um, 
parts which not always hangs perfectly together. But on side one, we have um, the speaker and Africa, Africa the Beautiful. And that is really uh, fantastic uh, music. Uh, Africa the Beautiful is uh, 13 minutes. It's a, that, you can say that's a sweet, very inspired uh, by the, 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 the trip they just uh, re returned from, from uh, Senegal. They play some, uh, he plays flute, he plays the drums, he plays percussion, some, some percussion, some drums he, he got in Africa. So that's a very, very interesting uh, tune and 13 minutes long, so it really takes you around. The first tune, uh, the speaker is uh, with a, a wordless uh, vocal by somebody even less known <laughs> than the three guys here. Um, I think that from the from the notes which uh, uh, Ron Jefferson also has uh, written himself, they're not that good, but it gives a little information. Um, it's a uh, Jackie uh, Robinson, which I have never heard of before, and uh, the internet has never heard of her either. So, but she sings a little um, uh, uh, wordless uh, uh, vocal here. That good, that's good. It works very well. This is a really interesting uh, release. I can highly recommend this one. Yeah, and uh, so uh, we are. Uh, Getting to the last one in this little uh, video, this little presentation, and that's this uh, this box set, Sonny Rollins, Go West, the contemporary record albums. And Sonny Rollins, the saxophone player, as we see here, um, uh, I think everybody knows. Um, so uh, I won't present him um, much more than that, but uh, he, he got to fame uh, in, uh, in the late uh, 1950s with these two. Uh, albums you can see here, Saxophone, uh, Colossus and Tenor Madness, that really is, they're from like 1956 or 57, so that was his uh, big uh, breakthrough and uh, probably one of uh, his, two of his best uh, uh, records. Um, but this one is, uh, this uh, box set here is a three uh, LP box set, uh, and in it is, we'll take this one off, it's a little like OP type, nice to have but what do you do in it when you want to to put your to put your box in, in on the shelf? So yeah, I don't know. I'll keep it down there. This box set, as you can see, it's like almost like snake skin. It's it's really good and and uh, uh, bust. I think it's called a uh, uh, gold print. High quality, really really high quality. Looks very good. And if we open it, open it, rips. Here we got the, these uh, three uh, records here. Let me take them out one by one. Way Out West, um, also uh, uh, an album which uh, sold well and which is very, very um, uh, great, a really great record with the trio. Um, I think, as I remember it, it's, uh, it's Ray Brown and uh, Shelly Mann, yeah, backing uh, Sonny Rollins up here. So it's a trio and uh, they go very well together. Nice uh, liner notes by Lester Koenig. The other one, and as, as I understand it, these are the only two that were released um, on uh, Contemporary with, um, with the Sonny Rollins. Uh, they are recorded in 58 and uh, 59, or 57 and 58, and released a little later. This one uh, is uh, Sonny Rollins and the Contemporary Leaders with the Barney Kessel. Hampton Hayes, Leroy Winnegar, and Shelly Mann. So uh, here, here uh, Mr. Rollins is uh, together with uh, uh, some uh, skilled and uh, very routine uh, musicians which have their own uh, bands, have their own releases in their own name. And I think that's uh, why it's called the, the Contemporary Leaders. This one is also a, a great uh, record. Uh, it's um, it's uh, on the first one. There's some of uh, Sun Brown's own tune, own tunes. Here it's uh, more or less other uh, compositions or uh, standards. And of course, with these names, there are some more solos by other uh, players than uh, Sonny Rollins. So uh, now they are both in the box, but I, I prefer this one the most. And then the third one is uh, outtakes or alternative takes. Um, and I do not think this one has been released before my finger here so you can see it. this is uh, alternative takes from uh, some of, of some of the, the, the tunes uh, here I haven't heard this entirely yet but what I've heard it sounds good and doesn't sound like uh, they should have been trashed but uh, they have preferred the, the ones that that got on here 
Um, the the jackets are very uh, sturdy. They are very solid here, and the, the poly lined inner sleeve from Kraft, so everything is top notch. As you can see, there's a little tear off on on one of mine. I have to get that replaced. I think um, this one is a little um, it's a little thinner cardboard, uh, but uh, the records are they are weight them. They're 200 grams. It's high quality, and the sound, at least on on these two, are very very good. It's a uh, what you say, airy, there's a lot of space, air around uh, the instruments. It's noise free, uh, there's, there's a good separation between the instruments. And as you can see, they are in stereo, both of them. And I think they are released, were released as mono recordings as well. And this is the only kind of complaint I have that it's a very hard pan stereo. So we have uh, uh, runners and the, the one uh, channel and the, the drum and the bass on the other channel. So there's almost nothing in the middle. Um, so I think they would sound better in, in mono. I think that that'll, that'll give a, bit, a better perspective. Um, but uh, the sound is great and as long as you do not hear, uh, listen in headphones, I think it works out okay. But it would be interesting to get them in mono. And maybe we will and so we can buy the, the same music <laughs> one more time. Uh, well, it's good. It's, it's it's not very expensive. It's a high quality uh, set. Uh, the the box, the the records, uh, the the sleeves, and there's also this little uh, book, this little booklet here uh, with the uh, photos and uh, there's an interview uh, with uh, Rollins uh, here uh, who tells about uh, when he went to to California to to Las Vegas, <laughs> Los Angeles. Sorry, uh, California, uh, Los Angeles and uh, where, where these ones are recorded. So um, nice uh, thing to have, a uh, nice extra thing. So uh, I can really recommend uh, this uh, box set as well, uh, even though it's a little hard panned. Um, so a lot of good records. The, the best one, I think, is, is this one. And the, the most interesting, maybe most surprising, uh, which I do not think, uh, think many people have, is, is this uh, uh, Ron Jefferson uh, choir. So um, that was uh, what uh, arrived just uh, the last uh, few uh, days or few weeks here. Uh, I'm very happy with it. I've listened to it. I'm going to listen some more to it. I think there's music to, uh, to a long, long time here. Uh, I hope you enjoy, enjoyed this little uh, record, uh, recording here, this little video. And uh, I'll say thank you for watching and thank you for your time. See you next time. Bye-bye.